hey all you cool cats and kittens. I've always wanted to say that for the past like week. Anyways, welcome to Coach's Corner. Uh, Nader here, I'm sure. I hope you all remember what I look like and what I sound like. Um, I just got done with a little workout and wanted to talk to you guys about something that was on my mind all morning. So I figured I'd share it with you and hopefully bring some uh, insight or have some light bulbs um, turn on for some of you. So what I wanna to talk to you about today is gonna to be very brief. Um, it's kind of about um, being grateful um, and being mindful. Um, so it's kind of like a battle of what I have to do slash what I get to do or what I have to do versus what I get to do. Um, so what I'm talking about is pretty much a lot of decisions that we make um, I found myself per personally, and I know some of you probably do the same thing, is you say you have to do something. Um, so I do that a lot with working out, and especially right now with um, Zoom sessions and stuff like that, um, they are a blast, but it's so hard for me to be on them and not um, wanna pretty much hug every single one of you. Um, so I found myself saying I have to do the Zoom workout at five, or. Um, I have to lift or I have to do 100 push-ups today. Um, and what I want to talk to you guys about is instead of saying that phrase, I have to, I want you to start practicing, I get to. Um, it immediately kind of uh, shifts that perception of what you have to do and shifts your mindset. So when you say I get to do something, you're making it a choice. You're not making it a chore or something that you're being forced to do. Um, so I want you to focus on that. Saying I get to do something makes you so grateful for it and makes me so grateful when um and thankful when i have to make or when i get to make breakfast and i wake up and i'm like okay i get to make breakfast and i have all these groceries at my disposal and i'm very blessed when i'm making it i feel very thankful for that um ability for myself to be making breakfast for myself um so i want you guys to be very mindful of that um whenever you have to work out say i get to work out Okay, I get to do 100 push-ups today. Not a lot of people get to do that. Not a lot of people can do that. And you're doing it. You get to do 100 squats. You have to do, or you get to do, see, it's so hard. You get to do 100 thrusters. I'm about to do that with you guys at five o'clock today. Um, so I'm really excited to just kind of share that with you guys um, and shift the way uh, we perceive things on a daily basis, whether it's in quarantine or out of quarantine. I feel like this is something that um, we could all kind of apply to our lives and um, you know, make us a little bit happier, just small little things. Anyways, uh, really good talking to you guys and I will see you virtually very soon. Um, and I will hug you at a month or so. Okay. Bye. <laughs>